Welcome to Empower Today. We've been thinking this week, and we're going to think for the next six weeks, about risks that Jesus took for us on the way towards Easter. We thought about Matthew chapter 22 today, where the Herodians and the Pharisees tried to trap Jesus. The Herodians were the political leaders at Jesus' time, and the Pharisees were the religious leaders. It's interesting what strange bedfellows can get together when they want to trap someone. And they basically said to Jesus, um, uh, who should we pay taxes to Caesar? Caesar, the, the um, divine god with a small g of the Romans, who since 63 BC held the Jewish people captive and made them pay massive taxes that they shouldn't really have had to pay. They're trying to trap Jesus. If Jesus says, um, don't pay taxes to Caesar, then the Roman authorities would have come down on him probably like a ton of bricks. If Jesus had said, mm, no, um, yeah, do give them to Caesar, a lot of the Jews would have thought, well, they're our enemies. Why are you supporting them, Jesus? So Jesus says to the religious leaders, um, show me one of the coins. And they give him a denarius. Now, a denarius had the imprint of Caesar on it. Um, so Jewish people would never touch it because they thought it was filthy money. So the religious leaders have immediately got themselves caught in a trap of their own by handling this money that was impure. And Jesus looks at them and he says, give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God what is God's. What Jesus is not saying, I think, is he's not saying give a little bit to Caesar and a little bit to God, you know, some to secular stuff, some to sacred stuff. I think Jesus is saying, give that filthy money to Caesar, but give your whole life to God, and that includes our finances. I think that when people are baptised as believers in Jesus, when they go into the water and under in the pool, that actually they should be baptised with their wallet or their purse, because it seems to me that's often the last thing that we give over to God, our financial stability. I love this painting here that was done at one of our services many years ago. Um, it was a group project where everyone made different butterflies and then this chain is cut to release the butterflies. You could see that as a symbol of financial pressure. If we give everything to God, the, the money we use to buy food, the bank that we bank with that's ethical, um, the money we give to church, the money we give to charity, the money we give on the quiet to people to just give them a treat. If we'd all do that from a heart that says, God, I want to give my whole life to you, then that chain is cut and beautiful things happen. Give to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. Take care, see you next week.